What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back in for the reaction and today's a great, wonderful, beautiful, amazing day because it is a Swedish day. Swedish words most Swedes mispronounce. What are you mispronouncing? Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. I hope you're having a splendid day out there and welcome. Today we're going to go through a list of Swedish words that most Swedes actually mispronounce. And I'm gonna make it like a game show, so hopefully you can join in and maybe test out your Swedish. Maybe you're not talking Swedish, or maybe you are Swedish, and maybe you want to practice your Swedish. In either case, maybe it's gonna be a fun thing to tag along on this journey throughout words that even Swedes mispronounce. We're gonna start out with the first word, which you're hopefully gonna see here. Can you pronounce this Interview? word? This word? means interview? interview obviously it looks like interview hey how... it looks like it doesn't like interview to me interview um how do you pronounce it though uh, is it pronounced this word is actually pronounced interview but interview most swedes pronounce it interview 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 oh and why that is i don't know maybe it's because it's easier to say interview then view. The thing to note here is the position of the V, which is should be placed where it is written and not how it's pronounced in some cases. I I hear I hear Swedes mm. pronounce it into you even to this day, which is pretty interesting. But now Interesting, yeah, into yeah. Well You know how to pronounce that However you wanna pronounce it is how you wanna pronounce it, guys. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I can't even speak Swedish, but yeah. We're moving on to the next word is gonna appear here somewhere. Citation Stecken. Citation Stecken. I don't know. Or magically. It's a pretty long word. I don't know if it's gonna fit here, but can you pronounce it? This word means quotation mark, and it's pronounced Sitahun Stecken. Sitahun Stecken. Sitahun Stecken. Most Swedes actually pronounce it situation was taken, which would situation essentially mean taken. situation mark, which is something completely different. We're moving on to the next word, or it's not really a word, it's rather a place name, or actually a label of a Swedish water brand. Can you pronounce it? Ramlosa. That's how I would say. Maybe it's wrong. If you did pronounce it Ramlösa, then you pronounce it correctly. Hey! <laughs> I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> but there's a lot of Swedes who actually pronounce it Ramlösa, which would make That's kind of how I said it, wasn't it? Ooh. Sense okay. because there's only one M, but it's actually pronounced Ramlösa as if it were two Ramlosa. M's in there. Don't ask me why that is, but maybe it's a dialect sort of thingy going on there. If you know, please leave a comment down below. It would be interesting to know why that is. Here's the next word. And as espresso is like a coffee, right? Espresso. You can see it's a loan word. Maybe you've seen it in English before. It's an espresso, and that's how we pronounce it in Swedish as well. The problem is a lot of Swedes pronounce this espresso, <laughs> which would mean that it's a very fast type of coffee. Express, oh, coffee, fast. <laughs> With that said, we're moving on to the next loan word. As you can see, it's not a Swedish word. It's, it's a French word. I'm, I'm just can, guessing. Can you pronounce this in Swedish? Or maybe in French, maybe you're French. This word is supposed to be pronounced entrecote because that's how it's pronounced in French or it kind of is entrecote <laughs> is it pronounced like that I need to ask Google Translate is it pronounced entrecote Je suis un petit escargot Okay this is a word that a lot of Swedes actually pronounce entrecote <laughs> the reason to this is probably because in French there's a lot of letters that aren't necessarily pronounced. There's a lot of that's never pronounced. And so Swedes <laughs> make the assumption that the, the the last bit of this word is not gonna be pronounced. But it is. Mm. How do you know that? The next word. Oh, the Euro. The, how do you pro wait, how do you guys pronounce the Euro? The Euro. There's no other way to say Euro. Everyone says Euro, right? 
Oh, do we? Do you? Well, how does sweet say euro? Magic, magic word. I, I bet you've seen it before. It's actually a currency. It's a currency. And it's pronounced euro. Or euro. Or however a Swede would pronounce it. But a lot of Swedes actually pronounce this evro. And why that? Evro. Why? That is, I'm not entirely sure. Because in it's Swedish, the word for Europe, it's Europa. It's Europa. not Evropa. You don't pronounce it with a V instead of a U. So I don't know why it become Evro instead of Euro. <laughs> Moving on to the next word. It's rather right. not a word. It's a name. It's a Swedish... Joel Kinnaman. Actor, and he's pretty... He's Swedish! Whoa, I've seen him in loads of stuff. I thought he was British. I thought he was British. I've seen him in a lot of stuff. Good okay, right now in Hollywood, and he is pronounced Ewell Kinnaman. But a lot of Swedes pronounce him Ewell Kinnaman. Ewell Shinnaman. Which does actually make sense, because there's actually a place called Shinna. And actually, a lot of Swedish word that has the letter K followed by a vowel is actually pronounced sh. So that would mean, it would make sense to pronounce his name Shinnaman, but in this case, he's pronounced Kinnaman. Don't ask me why, maybe you can ask him if you have his number or something. The next word, or rather it's a con- Schweiz, Schweiz, Schweiz? Schweiz. That's how I would say it. How do you guys say it? It's <laughs> three actually, can you pronounce Schweiz. it? This word means Switzerland, and it's pronounced Schweiz. Which Schweiz. I okay, I'm so far off. I guess it's pretty close to how you pronounce the country's name in German. But a lot of Swedes actually pronounce it Svage. So they mix out the Svage. positioning of the sh part and put it at the end instead of in the beginning. So it should be pronounced Svage and not Svage. Okay, <laughs> you know that now. Moving on to the next word, which is pretty long. It's a long word. I wouldn't. Marangviz. 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 I don't know. And pronounce it. <laughs> I would be very impressed if you could pronounce this word. This word is uh, a Swedish dessert and is made out of a thing called meringue. I didn't know there was this English word called meringue, but it, it's called meringue in Swedish. And this word is pronounced meringue swiss. But a lot oh. of people pronounce it meringue swish as if it was a. So I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Very First fast time. dessert. Swishing by. Mareng swish. But it's pronounced Mareng Svis. Here's the next word for you. Can you pronounce it? Detective. 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 Like a detective. Like someone that works in the police force. A, de a detective. Detective. It obviously means detective. Yeah. And in Swedish, it's pronounced detective. But a lot Detec of Swedes, especially detective, when they're young, like I did when I was young, pronounce it detective. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It is difficult to mix the T sound together with the K sound. But in this case, you should do it right, otherwise they will be on to your asses. And we're moving on to the final word, which is another French loan word. Croissant. Croissant. Uh, croissant. Um, what, how, do you, how would you say it? Cru, croissant. Croissant? As you know, <laughs> we want to be French in Sweden. No, not really. But <laughs> this word, can you pronounce it in Swedish? Maybe you can pronounce it in French. I don't know if I can pronounce it in French. Google uh -huh. Translate. Is it pronounced croissant? Sauve moi de ce suédois. Mm. <laughs> this word in Swedish is croissant. pronounced croissant. But a croissant. lot of Swedes pronounce it croissant for some reason. Croissant. In this case, we pronounce the last bit of the word, even though it's a French word, which should be uh, removing a lot of consonants. But hey, croissant. we can't always decide, can we? All right, guys, that was a list of Swedish words that most Swedes actually mispronounce. And hopefully you've learned a lot of new Swedish words and how to pronounce them correctly. If you have any questions or comments, please post a comment down below and we can have a nice conversation <laughs> that continues after this video. Uh, but 
this video is about to end and I hope you had a splendid time here together with me because I had a splendid time together with you. Google Translate, how do you say splendid day in French? Les robots vont bientôt régner sur les humains. <laughs> What happened to this guy? I really like this guy, but he just disappeared off the face of the planet. Where has Naka been? Actually, I think he's had a kid. That's where he's gone. But um, I like this video. I didn't get as many words as I thought I would, but you guys pronounced them wrong anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon.